are you, Darren? Mr. Ricky. Well, I was just, uh, I was just going to sit down. What's he doing? I'm smoking a fucking cigarette. Well, baby, why didn't you let me light your fire? Because, I don't know. You know, because you're not gay, that's <laughs> why. <laughs> I'm not a fucking homo. You're not a butt dart? I'm not a butt dart. Are you a turd burglar? No, I'm not a turd burglar. All right, explain to the kids what's happening here, Mr. Ricky. I have no fucking idea what's going on. Well, uh, I'll let you here guys Here today, this, okay, is, this, is, right. this is an episode of Mr. Ricky and Friends. And um, can, can I tell them the title? You know, the title is Brokeback Mountain. With Dirty Mudbone. With, and this is Dirty Mudbone. My friend Dirty Mudbone. Uh, this is his uh, improv video. He invited me on my own show with a couple of ideas. Because I had some questions for you, Mr. Ricky. That just I, Things just don't add up with you, buddy. All right. They hit me. Shit. All right. First question. When you go to the bathroom and you got to, you know, you got to drop a deuce, are you taking a shit or are you leaving a shit? I've always thought the same thing. You're leaving a shit. I have never, I have never personally taken a shit from any bathroom. What about have you? Well, George Carlin, he said the he was the same fucking way, man. He he's probably up there right now taking a big shit, enjoying it. Okay, I got another one. I got another. George one Carlin. Me. George Carlin is yeah. a genius. He is a comedic genius, and I I bow to him. Actually, I'm gonna get him. Why are you talking? I'm gonna northern person because I'm. Look, I'm a true Southern gentleman. I'm a small town country boy. Don't ever, don't ever, don't ever question that. And now I'm gonna get down on my knees right now, and I'm gonna pray to George Carlin. That ain't all. That ain't all you're gonna do. In the name of George Carlin and a big turd. Oh, is that? Is That's that it. Not happening? George, when you're wiping, remember to moisten the towelette <laughs> to get the dingleberries off. Dingleberries as. A, a, Defined by Webster's are small pieces of toilet paper, round up and turd, and stuck to your butthole. <laughs> round up and turd. All right. All right. Next question. Watch that, please. Can you tell if I'm wearing underwear or not? Turn around. How's my ass look? Uh, fine for an ass, I guess. Let's see. You like it? Does it make my ass look big? Uh, ask, See, the, ask the audience. I'll tell you, I am going commando, audience. And I'll tell you why I got the <laughs> nickname commando, okay? Okay, I'm going to tell you why. Why is that? See, at work, I work. I cut meat at, at work. I, that ain't all he does with <laughs> meat. <laughs> Seriously, man, I'm a meat cutter. And look, dude, this is a true story. This is a fact. So, you, so what you say is no, you, is no. You, drop you, the you, accent. This is true. This is this is a true fucking story, bro. And I want to tell you. I can't. No joking. Accent. This is how I got my nickname, Commando. You handle me. Continue. You're right. I, you're you're right. And I'm I'm just joking. And uh, I don't I don't want to. You're the Go boss. Ahead. Hey, don't man. Twenty five percent. I'm not okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So anyway. So anyway, look. I go to work. And uh, I got up for work and I was a little late, right? So a lot of the times when I'm running real late, I wear socks that don't match that are dirty and I won't wear underwear. And because I wear a white coat, because I cut meat, you know, at the, uh, at the store, right? Uh, you know, it covers up everything. So, but I, I had split my pants a few weeks before and I just said it was lazy. And I didn't go get uh, new ones. I just, I, it didn't matter, you know, because so then what I would do is I just wear the jacket home and back and home and back. I mean, a new pair, of, you know, how, how fucking expensive a new pair of, of slacks, uh, dockers are, or whatever, Dickies. Dickies, that's better, don't run you think? About Dickies, Dickies. Dickies will run you about $22. And they're, how many inches is around is a Dickie? <laughs> I don't know. Hang on, let me find. I'll be right back. <laughs> Holy shit! What was it, Mr. Ricky? I don't know. They don't have a small enough unit of measure on the tape measure. <laughs> I didn't bring my glasses with me. I got some. I got. And actually, oh shit! I need some water. I'm a sweater. Remember? I'm a fucking sweater. Uh, and I'm a squirter. 
Is there ass in there? There is. Here, you take mine. I'll take yours. Mine's over there on the ground. Well, I ain't going. I'm not doing it on the ground with you. All you gotta do is get the fucking cup. And put and sprinkle some water in it. Sprinkle That's some cool. clear liquid in the in the in the cup. Some water? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> We gotta name this real quick. We gotta we gotta name this thing. We're rolling. You know what it is? Press pause. We need sunglasses, dude. That's what it is. We need sunglasses. I got two pair. I'm just gonna go oh. get my sunglasses. Hang on, hang on. This it leads into my next question. <laughs> <laughs> if I get pink eye. Help me! Help me! I can't escape. I'm trapped here. I'm locked up. They won't let me leave. Get my shades? I sure did. Sweet, sure, I can get my water. Are, you, is there, are we rolling? Mm-hmm. We're rolling? I can edit it later. Ricky. Yes. You have nice breasts. I have nice breasts. You do. Thank you. Can you bounce one and then the other like different? Like boom, 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 boom. Like boom, uh, boom. what's his name? Um... Uh, Schwarzenegger? Schwarzenegger? Schwarz- Schwarzenegger's good. Uh, The Rock. What about uh, Ra- who you who's think? Who's the black guy? Who would? Who's better at bouncing their booby, their breasts, their their nice some people with some chivalrous breasts? You know, would it be Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, John Travolta? All right, come on, baby, light my fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. Oh, I can't see you. shit with these on. <laughs> Good. My, per- my perception has changed. Yeah, my your perspective per- is different now. Yeah, yeah. Your prescription is. Uh, <laughs> you've got your. You got. You know when they talk about a gator. Uh-huh. These are. I actually got ordered these from Sharper Image. They have a. They have their own gator button. Press it, and then you won't be gay anymore. Well, I'm not gay in the first place. So, let me see. Man. Burp. <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on. I gotta, I gotta get up here real quick. Okay, next question, Ricky. Now this one's gonna stomp you. Stomp. Why up. do your farts not bother you, but somebody else's fart does? My farts. But if I see if I farted right, right now, it would bother you. No, it wouldn't. Only if it stank really bad. Well, I couldn't even take, like a DEF CON 10, I can't take, you know, I can't. I'm just really tolerant, I guess. Are you tired? No. You want to go to bed? Not with you. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be firm in your masculine and femininity. Masculine and femininity? Yes. Yes, like, like, uh, oh, that's like, uh, what's his face, Jim Carrey, you know he's got herpes? Oh, I'm really? ser- dead fucking serious, he's got herpes. Okay. Yeah. How do you know that? Because he went, and I saw it, uh, th- this chick that he gave. He saw it. <laughs> <laughs> this chick that he gave herpes to killed herself, and it came out in the court. Holy record. shit. Yeah, he gave her herpes. And she killed herself. You know what herpes is? It's the, the gift, gift that, that keeps on, on giving. giving. Yeah, so if I have herpes, let me ask you this, and you had herpes, we could get it on, right? And it, we would just be passing it back for for it would be cool. I wouldn't have to worry. I wouldn't have to buckle up <laughs> when I do you. Now, ask, answer me this: When if you were doing me, would you give me a reach around? No, it's all about me. Damn, damn, <laughs> man! I knew you were a taker and not a giver. <laughs> well, depending on your perspective. All right. Let's see. Hold on. Tell me if this bothers you. Sounded a little moist. <laughs> I think I need some ointment. <laughs> He's getting wet. <laughs> Moistment. 
Okay, what else do I have under here? Um, now, I've noticed you don't have any hair on your nipples. I actually have a little bit of hair on my nipples. You do? Yes. Okay, well, so you don't like it shaved? What, my nipples? <laughs> Well, let's 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 get let's get out of the gay zone and go to the let, let's 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 distance ourselves as much as we fucking can for the love of God in my soul. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. All you, like, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. You don't have to be celibate. You know, celibate? that's a, that's between you and God. I love. I got a lot of gay friends. I mean, not a lot. But <laughs> But anyway, me and Ricky have been fucking around on this video just because, you know, it's just, it's not like I want to swap spit with him in the shower. I just, he's the coolest dude I've ever met. I'm, I'm thankful that he's let me in his, his shit. Well, you thank know. you, sir. Yeah. Now don't, now, now don't try and blow me or something. Hang on. Blow me away. I mean, with a gun. Let's see here. Uh, I've got several other questions. Now, when, see, we had talked in the Brisk Walk the other day. Brisk uh, Walk, yes. That was, about, that was a good epi episode. It's called um, BP. No, BIP, Before Internet Porn. See, yes. I grew up before Internet Porn. So you're a BIP baby. Yeah, so in the 80s, if you're under 18, you couldn't buy porno mags. So you either had to steal some from your dad or your friend's dad. Where the, in hope that the pages weren't stuck together, or you had to go to the, uh, or you had to go to the K and B. K and B is not around anymore, but it was just like a Rite Aid or a CVS or some shit. And you got, I, I would get bikini magazines, you know, yes. with chicks, because I'm an ass man. I told you straight up, I can deal with an A as long as she's got an ass. I can, I can bounce a quarter I'm an ass off man of. as well. I know. I mean, I can. We can. We can work with. I tell you what, if, if her breasts are smaller than yours, I'm going to have a problem with it. We're going to have to talk about some enlargements. And I'm, I like a perfect teardrop. I like a perfect teardrop titty. About a C cup with, I don't like the fried egg, men, fried eggs. Hanging and, from two, two fried eggs. Have you, ever been door with, have you ever been with a girl who has a nipple about like this with little hairs coming out? <laughs> <You know. laughs> All right, next question. Moving on. Rolling, 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 keep those bitches owing. Rolling, 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 raw high. Way down south in the land of cotton, yeah. old times hair dye. Forgotten, look away, Woo. look away, Woo. look away. <laughs> okay, next question, Mr. Get Ricky. Get boy. Let's see. Uh, okay, I told you. That I like to work with meat, right? Yes. I mean, I just I love holding. <laughs> I, lo I love holding meat and and, <laughs> and 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 cutting it into a perfect piece of art. Yes. And anyway, it's cold in the freezer, and I've noticed <laughs> when I go into the freezer, my nutsack <laughs> kind of shrivels up. It shrivels up so much that my nuts actually leave the sack and go <laughs> into my body. <laughs> if, so if, and then my dick, this, look, look, my dick, my dick, like I, I, I'm circumcised, but it finds a way to, to go in and cover itself in skin. <laughs> For, but but it's not foreskin, so what it would be after skin? <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this: How far up do your nuts go inside? All the way, buddy. Balls deep. <laughs> <laughs> so if you brought a small handheld mirror into the freezer, could you open your mouth? And see your nuts at the back of your throat? And not get them confused with my tonsils? <laughs> <laughs> you still have your tonsils? No. No, yes, I do. I do have my tonsils, but I don't have a condom. Okay, <laughs> next question. What is this? Okay. <laughs> I got one or two more for you. Um, now, let's talk about uh, Kurt Gobain. Kurt Gobain. Kurt Gobain apparently shot himself. What do you think about that? Have you seen Soaked in Bleach? I have not seen Soaked in Bleach. Well, Soaked in Bleach, I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to watch it together, like sitting close to one another, holding hands. Not on the first. Not on the. We'll watch it several times, and then, <laughs> okay. and then we can. You know, I like. I like. I like you know. So anyway, Courtney Love apparently shot him. It looks like she either did or she had somebody shoot him up with so much fucking heroin that he. Apparently, would have killed a horse, and he took the gun and then blew his head off, which is pretty hard because 
the pellet went out that or the shell went out that way but the gun was over here but i'm not the sharpest tack in the knife or the knife in the drawer <laughs> but i think she fucking did it for his estate because he was getting ready to kick her in the fucking ass you know what a bbd is i think she might have done it you know what a bbd is a bigger better deal why are so many chicks looking for the bigger, better deal? And they're not looking at our heart. And they're not looking at us. And they just, it's like, hey, lady. Women just want you for your penis. I <laughs> promise. Don't even think about anything else. Or, or your big ass thick wallet. Penis. Wallet. Penis. Wallet. Wallet. I got the it's smallest the penis in the world. <laughs> and, but you ought to check how big out my bulges when my wallet comes out in the back. Okay, next question. The only concern about two bulges. The bulge in the front. And the bulge in the back. Okay, see if I got another question for you. Most of the bulge in the back. We've covered pretty much everything, buddy. Do you wanna um you wanna go ahead and go to bed for the night? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, people. We'll see you. We'll see you later. I'm still having fun. Let's smoke one more cigarette. Let's do that. Let's just this is I'm glad I got all my questions. Mine over there? I don't know. Here, I'll light your fire, baby. No, mine are over here. But this is your lighter. Yeah. Light turd. You turd lighter. Don't think you're gonna be lighting my turd tonight. Not unless if you liked it, then you should have put a ring on it. <laughs> Cock ring. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm sweating fucking balls. You know who would be sweating balls right now? Kyle. Just from this conversation. It's too gay for him? Too gay, way too gay for him. Well, he's a serious dude, man. Yeah, he's going to get it. He needs to let his child, his inner child, come out and and, and bounce around. And bounce around. You know, and then let us kick it in its ass. (laughs) Oh, man. It is a hot one tonight, ladies. I'm getting fat. If I could afford to take the girl to McDonald's more than once a week. um, You get her a Whopper sandwich? (laughs) Oh, that's another thing. Yeah. Hey, Taj. This is Ty 2.0. I am the fucking Burger King to your McDonald's. I am the fucking uh, Apple to your Mac to your fucking uh, Android. You know. So uh, I'm calling you out specifically, and on our next uh, roll gown or row gown or row gang, whatever the fuck you use in your hair, we're gonna find out if you're really gay. No, no. I think I did great. So. uh... Ty is calling out Tosh. Personally, I think it's a hell of a mistake. I, for one, choose Tosh. Tosh. If what you're, if the you're, fuck, uh, man? I thought we were friends. You just you just grabbed my ass in there. <laughs> and now you're saying Tosh is better than me? Tosh has a better ass. Woo! <laughs> 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 Good doggy. Just give him a long stare down, Ricky. Yeah, that you look sexy right now. I'm actually <laughs> catching some wood. <laughs> if you were a chick, I'd shave your um, face <laughs> and dive right in to my face. <laughs> <coughs> oh yeah, Ricky. One last thing, since you're not you're not giving up yet. I got one more question. I forget. You asked me. You got to stay till the miracle happens. Okay. <laughs> Just keep coming back. It works if you jerk it. It, it, it <laughs> works. Yeah. Okay. You asked me. Folks, look at my shirt. Excuse me. Excuse me, big boy. Okay. You probably can't see it, but it says Boy Scouts of America. Boy Scouts of America. He scouts out all the boys of that, America. Exactly. That was my question. <laughs> that was my question. Do you do you think would you perceive me as gay for just wearing this shirt at forty six years old? <laughs> I, I can take it off because no. I got a cool ass Aerosmith shirt underneath. I go both ways, ladies. I go both ways. Which which two ways? Well, actually, I go more than two ways. But I preferred the jackhammer to start out with the jackhammer, then move to the. <laughs> the uh, Dirty Sanchez, and then we roll around and roll around a little bit, and I get some reverse cowgirl. <laughs> Do you know what a Cleveland steamer is? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs>
My question Did was... Did you spill your ointment? I, sp- <laughs> <laughs> I spilled my ointment. <laughs> my, my liver ointment. I like this arrow. It's, hey, Ricky, this arrow should be shared as much question. time. Question. If you had... But, but, but let me finish. I mean, I know you're the boss, man, but I... Does this shirt, it's so tight, how do my breasts look in it? Your breasts? Do they look like meat flaps? They look okay. I want to know when the baby's do. Oh, uh, well, uh, I'm thinking Halloween. Perfect. <sighs> you know, I don't know what I'm going to be for Halloween. I thought I'd, I, I thought I'd dress up in a lizard mask and run around the neighborhood naked. Speedos. Right. We get Speedos. Right. And we paint ourselves orange. You like orange? No, it's just like, you know. Is that with, your, what's your favorite color? Tan. What's your favorite color? Red. Red, like like asshole red. <laughs> <laughs> or do you bleach it? <laughs> so when you're, when, they, you know they bleach that shit? And Dr. Oz, you know the one that comes on TV, I saw him one yeah. time? He says bleaching your asshole, <laughs> what it does is, is it kind of causes it to tighten. So when you go to drop a deuce, it comes out like, like really sh- like snaky shit. I had a friend of mine, by the way. <laughs> I had a friend of mine. He had this house, and they used to name their shits <laughs> <laughs> like snaky shit, runny shit, and I mean all the names just went for on and on and on. But uh, that's all I can think of right now. It, okay, if you had to guess, what is a Cleveland steamer? Cleveland steamer. Let me let me marinate that one around in my brain for a little while. Ricky, will you permit me to chain smoke? Yeah, I'm gonna do the same fucking thing. Can I flick it? Just, I just want to flick it. Yeah, I flick it all the time. We'll pull it out. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Again, ladies, this is Brokeback Mountain. We're just two small town country boys talking about. What well, well, we talked about? We ran have the you gauntlet thought, Have tonight. you thought about? What Cleveland steamer means? No, I told you I needed to marinate that. Okay, Cleveland steamer. So I'm thinking you turn up the heater and you get all sweat. Now let me finish and then you say, eh, or no. Okay, so you turn the heater up, Cleveland Cavaliers. So she grabs her ankles like this, puts one over her head back here, and you jam from the back. Is it not even close? <laughs> no. A Cleveland steamer would be if you were laying on the bed buck naked and I was buck naked and I, I and let's say I'd eaten some Taco Bell or some chili <laughs> or, some, or some chili del fuego today. <laughs> and I put my knees on your on your shoulders and I drop a hot steamy deuce on your chest. <laughs> And I rub it in with my butt cheeks. <laughs> Please stop it, bro. I'm about to explode. I'm about to have a brain aneurysm. You're about to have an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell the kids you, goodnight. I can't take this anymore. Do you know what a do you know what a do you know what a pink sock is? <laughs> Let me guess. Let me let that one marinate. And I got, man, I'm laughing so fucking hard, my stomach hurts. El gato. <laughs> Cleveland Stamer would be like, like Sarah Mr. I mean, Mr. Roboto. A pink, a pink sock would be like if you were bent over here in this chair and I was fucking you in the ass. Right. And then I punch you in the back so that your your butthole clenches. And then as soon as you do that, <laughs> I pull out as hard as I can and your butthole <laughs> comes out <laughs> like an inside out sock. <laughs> Bro, fucking stop it, bro. You're killing me, dude. This is bullshit. I have a lot of gay friends. I mean, not a lot, like I said. (laughs) And not that there's anything wrong with that. (laughs) Please, man, this video's going on and on and on. You got more shit with you? Yeah. Because I'm not not fucking wiping your ass. Do you know? Unless I get a moist towel Do you you know what squirreling is? I know what chipmunking is. Uh, my generation used what to chipmunk. Chip well, that's when they take the cock, and if they can deep throat it enough, if you really know what you're doing, <laughs> they put their balls in your mouth and, and, <laughs> and the bean and the franks. I mean, the frank and the beans. <laughs> you're not going to post this on YouTube, are you? <laughs> I'm going to edit it. 
Are you? Yeah. Why, are you scared? Dude. No, I'm not scared. I'm just going to edit it for length. How long do you want I'm gonna it? I'm going to keep all the hilarious shit in it. How long do you want it? About... How long can you? How long can you hold out, bro? Sober, sober, sober as fucking can be. Let's let's get real here, bro. I can hold out for about a minute and a half. I am a speed fucker. We, you see, and I'm tired of getting vilified for it. I'm fucking tired. Well, it depends. Just on because you have different sexual goals than I do, <laughs> Dave Chappelle. How you like me now? Depends on the circumstances. I'm ready to get it done with. I can get it done with. If I want to go for a while, I can go for a while. You can hold it. Do you? Pro- hey, hey, I heard if you sit in a chair and you clench your your butthole together. And by the way, that also you can push your belly button. Really? No. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, but yeah, by yeah. the way, that's also a way to pass a lie detector test. Like when, right when they hook you up and ask you a question, you clench your asshole together. <laughs> you know, and uh, anal kegels. <laughs> anal keyboard. <laughs> Bro, please turn it off, man. You never answered what squir- Look how sweaty I am. <laughs> I can't tell. What is squirreling? You're Where's already- my shades? Squirreling is when... <laughs> let's say you ate... Some- <laughs> let's, let's say you ate some nuts, some berries, some corn for lunch. Now, is that and organic? Is that orgasmic, or is that uh, antibiotics? It's just. <coughs> are they chicken fed? Are they free range chickens? It doesn't matter. Are they, it doesn't matter. Or the nuts? So let's are, say you ate some, some nuts and some. What kind of nuts? My nuts. <laughs> <laughs> let's say you ate some corn and some nuts for lunch, and we come home and we're performing the sex act, and you poop in a cup. <laughs> We dump it out on a, on a table or a piece of paper you or whatever. pick the corn out of my shit? I pick the corn out <laughs> and, and the I nuts. eat it. <laughs> Dude, it's, uh, see, I, I don't watch, I don't really, I can't get into the, the, the necro shit. That's, you know. It's not that, necro. What's necrophiliac? What does that mean? I thought Fucking that means dead like. Body. Oh, okay. What's the one where you like to drink the turds out of a cup? Fecal. Fecal. Let's see. Let's let's make up a name for it real quick. If necrophilia, doo doo loving. <laughs> <laughs> Shit shenanigans. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put a scientific bent a little to the left on it. <laughs> it goes up about five inches and then it curves off to the left about three. So that gives me a what, Ricky? You're good in math. Did nine. Man, and she, I was like, she's like, that's not fucking 10 inches. Man. That's not lighter. fucking 10 inches. I said, it is if you straighten out the bend. <laughs> 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 All right, bro. Listen, one listen, more. Let, one more. Do you know, do you know, you're what wearing a, me out, bro. Do you know what a ghost dick is? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> If you're right here and I'm fucking you in the ass, and I'm fucking you and I'm fucking you and I'm fucking you and I'm fucking you, and I say, whoo, give me a second. You turn your head to look. I say, bitch, don't look at me. And I got my homeboy behind me, and you're like, okay, okay, okay. And he comes up and he sticks his dick in, and you don't know, and I walk away. And then he keeps fucking you, and then I walk past like this, and, and, and I wave at you. <laughs> Bro, I can't take it anymore. I'm going to sleep. Fuck. Fuck me in the ass, Ricky. <laughs> Give me that mirror. You want, to, that you, want to, you want to jump? You want to, no, you want want to turkey lighter. fuck cigarettes? It's called monkey fucking. Oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm, I'm Generation X. You're a millennial. I'm actually... Generation Y? I don't or know. Z? I'm, I'm in between... Z and millennial? Yeah, or whatever. What'd you, what year did you... Uh, uh, graduate born in 90, second grade. Born in ninety three. So you are a millennial. Whatever. Means. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. That's what I say. Fuck it all. What does it mean? It just it's just a generation distinction. There's generation X. I know, which is but I when does, there's when the baby does, boomers. When do millennials start? And then I don't know what the fuck they call those people in the seventies. Drug sex and rock and roll, baby. Yeah. You know this actually means I love you. It doesn't mean. You know, whatever. 
This means I'll love you. Wanna, you want to fuck shadows with finger finger fuck shadows? See if we can do that. Where's the shadow? Um, we have no shadows. We have no shadows. We are vampires. We are people of light. We are the children of light. Tell them, Ricky, who we really are. We are children. We are the children of light. We are the children of we light. We are just nasty as can be. Nasty <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Here to nest in your kid's ears, fucking Slim Shady. Look at my tits. <laughs> Isn't that crazy looking? Like Wait, let me, in the camera or like in, in real the camera. life? Let me oh see. my God, dude. I'm going to get this way. I have, I have tits. Hold on, Ricky. <laughs> Hold on, Ricky. Let me, let me, uh, I got to fix my shit. Dude, that's freaking. <laughs> oh, fuck. Tits. You know why when somebody's not doing a good job, I say tits on a boar hog? Why, Ricky? Because tits on a boar hog are useless. <laughs> <laughs> you know what my friend said? He, he had like a two-inch dick. Oh, literally had like a two-and-a-half-inch dick. He just had, he had hair. Like you couldn't fucking see even a nub. Right? And he goes to this whorehouse. Like a walnut hiding in a matted up ball of fur. <laughs> <laughs> So he goes to this brothel, okay, we'll call it a brothel, and uh, he's like, she's like, pulls down his pants, and he paid her like a grand, she's smoking hot, and she's like, who are you going to please with that? And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, my boy, so there's this guy, and he's paraplegic, <clears throat> excuse me, paraplegics, <laughs> but there's a guy who's paraplegic, and uh, he, he, wants to, he wants to get fucked, so... Uh, <laughs> so he invites this girl. He, do you uh, think our neighbor? He might, hires. Do you he, think this girl might? Our neighbor might call the cops because this is too dirty. It look, it's call the popo po, ho. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so this guy he's paraplegic and he hires a hooker. Right. They get back to the motel room and uh, <laughs> he starts taking off his shoes and his toes and his feet are all curled up and weird looking. Is there? Is, does he have athlete's foot? Listen. He's like he's like like really funky athlete's foot. I do. I got. Funky I don't know. Anyway, yeah. he's like, oh, don't worry about that, baby. I I, I got the I got the polio. <laughs> She's like, uh, okay, as long as you're gonna pay me. <laughs> he takes his pants off and his legs are all fucked up and curled up. Man. <laughs> he's like, oh, uh, don't don't worry about that, baby. I had the meningitis. <laughs> She's like, okay, as long as you're gonna pay me. <laughs> She pulls down his underwear and she says, "Oh God, you got a case of the small cocks." <laughs> well, that's all tonight, folks. We're gonna uh, Wait, watch this video. Let's, let's name. Let's hang on, Ricky, real quick. Let's name this the Prince Albert right here. This is the Prince Albert. This, and it holds. I, let me reach down in there and get a nice big. Big. You know what a Prince Albert is? I do know what a Prince. It's when, it's when a guy gets a. I, I hate to say it because it, it even hurts my dick just to say it. It's when he gets that fucking, that thing where they go. I, I mean, how does does his pee go like this? I don't after know. They go? I don't know. Right. Goodbye.